Welcome to the Fringe News Bigfoot Update for the week of February 17th, 2014. This week there's been a crap ton of stories in the news and well, my voice is a little off so let's give it a shot, shall we? First up tonight, was Bigfoot shot again? Is this footage of a newly killed Bigfoot or an attempt to fool us once again? As reported on the BigfootEvidence.blogspot.com, the footage popped up last week and it's only been able to find out just a little bit more about it. The snow is covering most of what it would take to identify just what it is, but we're pretty sure it's uh, got too many red flags, so we'll dig deeper into this one. For now, just keep a heads up. It's floating around out there. Check out BigfootEvidence.blogspot.com for the story. Well, this isn't a real Bigfoot head either, but it's pretty damn close. Newly up for bid on eBay is this life-size-to-scale replica of the head of Patty, the most famous Bigfoot and star of the Patterson-Gimlet footage. Doug Hudson, the man behind the realistic Bigfoot costume featured on TV and film, created the molds for this piece a couple of years ago, and the dimensions are to scale as taken by the investigation done by Bill Munns and the men behind the Bluff Creek projects. Here's your chance to own one of a limited few of these busts. Even Dr. Meldrum has been photographed next to one. The bidding is starting on eBay and still has three days left to go, so check the description for a link to that auction. Well, it seems Mark Yanders is back with his Bigfoot pictures, and this time he's saying that it's Willow Creek. Well, I say it's bullshit. Well, once again, we'll have to bring up this Mark Yanders guy. He seems to think that everything this person sends to him is the real deal. This time he says it's Willow Creek. Yeah, well, seeing as I just came back from Willow Creek, I got news for you. The Bigfoot wasn't filmed there, that's for sure. These guys are just pinging YouTube hits on whatever this footage is coming from. Wouldn't be surprised if this was the Blevins suit. We haven't heard much from him lately. Hey, Mark, this is what Willow Creek really looks like. Sorry, pal. Still not buying it, but good try. Now, this is like a badass shot. Jamie Scott, my geologist and Bigfooter from Humboldt County, helps to rescue motorists after a giant redwood tree blocks the road. With the help of some of the other drivers around, they were able to clear the road and get traffic flowing once again. Way to go, buddy. Thanks for the epic squatching while I was there. Now this story comes to us from Cliff Barackman's NorthAmericanBigfoot.com. The blog released a great article on ape clapping. Is this one of the techniques used by the investigators to simulate Bigfoot activity? Why, yes it was. I witnessed it myself just this past week during our Redwoods expedition. There's many examples of ape clapping, so why not Bigfoot? Click on over to NorthAmericanBigfoot.com to check out the article. And speaking of our buddy Cliff, this week was the final episode of Finding Bigfoot for the season. Yeah, good old Reverend Jeff here has the inside scoop. In fact, the Finding Bigfoot crew has not announced that they are finished at all. The filming this weekend was in Humboldt County was just a mid-season wrap-up. After speaking with insiders to the show, their fate is the same as it always is at this point. No one knows for sure if the show goes on, not even the stars. Over the weekend, they had a wrap party for the filming, so gee, it wasn't one of those nice-to-work-with-you celebrations. I can quote Cliff Barackman directly, who said, Don't believe everything you read on the internet. So check out the picture of me and Cliff. It was a hell of a fun time. Now, while we're on the subject of Bigfoot on TV, congrats to Stacy and Dave for winning Spike TV's $10 million Bigfoot bounty. No, they didn't get the grand prize, but a $100,000 grant to go Bigfooting sure is a runner-up prize for sure. None of the other contestants received any prize money, but most of them did say they'd do it all over again. Check out the series on your local Spike TV channel. And be sure to check out the Para Breakdown channel. Phil has a new Bigfoot release up on the Salt Fort. Bigfoot. Is it real? Find out at youtube.com slash parabreakdown. Don't miss the Floridian slip news too. Chris and his cohorts take on the news of the day with topics like the virtual sex robots, largest solar flares ever, and sinkholes you just can't go wrong. I'm sure it's uncensored for your pleasure. Check out youtube.com slash the Floridian slip for the latest. And let's take a check in at what's going on in the Dickhead Dyer Tour. It seems his engagement in Phoenix was put off. According to the Toledo News, now poor Dick couldn't find anyone to pay him to set up his Bigfoot sideshow, starring Hank the Stuffed Bigfoot Analog. Apparently, Dick's promoter, Andy Clancy, couldn't find anyone that was willing to pay Dick to set up camp in hopes of attracting more customers. In fact, the article says he couldn't even find anyone to let him set up for free. Even the nuts at the UFO community turned him down. At last check, they were looking for public land to try and set up the event. Let's hope old Hank triumphs once again. And while they're on the subject of the Dickhead Tire Tour, it may be time to add another nitwit's name to the list. According to the Bigfoot Evidence Blogspot.com article, 
Craig Woolley Eater of Cryptomundo.com has seen old Hank the Stuffed Bigfoot Analog and hung out with the great car salesman that is Dick Ryder. Afterwards, Craig spouts off to the world that there is a chance, just a chance, that Hank could be real. Though after some bashing, he admits that it's most likely a fake. But if there's that one, that point oh 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 one percent chance that it's real, why shut the door? Then again, he admits that it's all for the page hits. So there goes his credibility in my book. Sorry, Craig, you reap what you sow. Now, don't forget to listen to Inspired by Bigfoot, hosted by Bill Lee. This week's guest is Andrew Robertson of SasquatchRevelations.com. Andrew is a researcher and experiencer and author who lives part-time in the Oregon, British Columbia, where he does extensive Sasquatch field work and communications. Check it out on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern on InspiredByBigfoot.wqrdradio.com. And now for this week's podcast announcement. Well, it's kind of up in the air as of yet. Will the show go on? Has it been canceled? I really don't know. Well, to be honest, my co-host David Batorf has his little bundle of joy rolling into the world this year, so he may be a little tied up. And well, talking about the Redwoods expedition all by myself might be a little more eccentric than I'd like to hear. So that's the deal. I just may postpone the show, but it's definitely going to be epic. Keep an eye on Facebook.com slash S Lounge Podcast for all the announcements. Thanks for joining me for the Fringe News Bigfoot Update Season 2, Episode 7. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you.